Well, uh, my name's Peter Higgins, uh, co-founder of Yike Bike, the smallest folding like electric bike in the world. It's designed for the last mile, as you say. Uh, tell us about that. Yeah, it's just um, for, for those distances where it's not convenient to, to walk, you know, maybe the three, four, five kilometres or two or three or four mile uh, range, where you can you can use this to connect between public transport and uh, and your office. You can, um, when you get to your office, fold it up, take it in, store it under your desk, recharge it, and you're ready to, to do the return return trip on your way home. So I noticed you've got uh, some headlights there. Yeah, I mean they're not headlights so much as lights to make the person visible. Um, they're built in and they run off the electrical system that drives the bike. Uh, so we have indicators, we have brake lights, and we have hazard lights. Um, very important when you're driving that, that, that uh, you'll be able to be seen. Uh, I think uh, um, studies show that, that uh, bikes that get hit by cars, a lot of it is to do with um, the bikes not being seen. So we've got very powerful LED lights and uh, when, you're, when you're out in the traffic or on the side of the road, um, you're very well lit up. Get it in. It, uh, it folds up to, to around the 40 to 50 litre size, which is typically about a third the size of most other folding bikes, let alone folding electric bikes. bikes. 10 kilogram weight, so it's very easy to, to carry, very easy to store on the tube or on the bus or, or three or four in the back of your, of the back of your small car. Fit in the in the front of a Porsche. Uh, I'm sure it would. Yes, um, we, we've had them in lots of vehicles. You know, even in the back of a taxi, you can sit on your knees. So any any uh, luggage space in any cars, you'll easily fit one. But uh, it looks expensive. Is it? Does it uh, at least cost less than a car? Uh, it does, depending on the car, of course. Um, it's uh, got about four kilograms of carbon fibre, um, which is a, an expensive product. We're around um, in the in the UK. We're we're retailing for just under three thousand pounds. Uh, is it on sale already, or is it a uh, future product? We are, we are taking deposits now. Um, we've had it on sale since September when we launched at Eurobike in Germany. We are expecting production in July 2010 when the, the first customers will start receiving them. Um, is it uh, considered to be a bike? In, in, in some areas, um, Belgium for instance, we, we fit into their current regulation as a bike and so we can be, we can be riding on the, foot, on, the, uh, on the bike paths and on the road the same as any bike can. Um, and, and so that's the, the country that, that seems to be leading the way in Europe. Uh, other countries have different regulations and because we don't have pedals pedalling the bike, um, in some areas it's not regarded as a, as a bike and therefore outside the current regulations. <laughs>